Recently I have been working on RC system based on ESP microcontrollers. I successfully tested it in the line of sight flight already. You can check the video in description. For the range testing, I need a plane which can return to home on fail safe event. As I wanted to discover full potential of brushed motors, I decided to make Chuck glider conversion to iNav enabled plane. For this build I bought 3 48cm gliders. I used brushed motors from Ishin E58 quadcopter again. I was going to order some F3 Evo flight controller, but ordered Naze 32 by mistake. It means I will be stuck with the NAV 1.7.3 which does not have cruise mode. Flying against the wing will be harder. Flight controller has 6 motor outputs, and single UART for S-Bus receiver. I exposed few more pins to implement soft serial for GPS and telemetry. Then I build custom NAV 1.7.3 firmware for this board, and included few features which was implemented in later NAV versions, like failsafe mission. Flight controller has 5 volts output from boost up converter, which I use to power GPS module. S-Bus receiver and servos are powered from 1S battery directly. S-Bus receiver is based on ESP01S board. Full instructions how to build and flash receiver, and how to build transmitter module for jumper T light can be found in video description. I also added removable 25 milliwatts all-in-one camera for FPV flights. I went to the maiden flight with a foldable plane which can easily fit small backpack. Flying with the flight controller is easy. Even in such strong wind, plane flew from the first launch. I doubt I could control it in such weather in the manual mode. Default PIDs was okay. I had to adjust pitch angle on the field only. 
Due to strong wing, this day I was able to test line of sight flight and telemetry only. Any range testing was impossible. There was windy weather for many days. After waiting for a week, I decided to do range testing despite bad weather conditions. I was able to fly 400 meters away before I decided to turn back. I was afraid that plane will be gone with the wind. Anyway, 400 meters was much more than I expected from Wi-Fi link. On the way back I noticed that position of the plane on telemetry was frizzing. Telemetry displayed 17 satellites. But when I tried to enable POS hold, it did not work. And when I forced fail-safe mode, plane disarmed immediately. It meant that return to home functionality did not work actually. I was lucky I did not have fail-safe event. If plane disarmed far away, I probably would not be able to find it. All settings seemed to be okay. I went home and studied in AVCO. It appears that if GPS suddenly stop working, GPS related Mavlink telemetry is not transmitted. All I see is old satellite count values. So I modified my fork of telemetry viewer application to gray telemetry sensors if values are not received for a few seconds, and did a test flight. After 30 seconds of flight, GPS was not working. It appeared that due to bad ground plane routing and flight controller, brushed motors made a lot of noise on the power rail. After reinforcing ground plane and adding bypass capacitors, GPS worked fine. Meanwhile I wrapped model with a scotch tape. Now it looks cool. Before trying long range flight, I decided to try FPV. And I hit the tree immediately. On full throttle. Both MOSFETs and motors burn. This is how brushed motors die. There was a short flight day. As I had to replace motors anyway, I decided to try motors from SG-16 quadcopter. There was a hope that plane will be able to fly on Li-Ion battery because these motors still provide good thrust when voltage drops below 3.5 volts. The thrust of a plane indeed increased. The big drawback of these motors is that they are very fragile. Propeller got damaged on the very first landing. I continued testing plane with new motors while suddenly it started to fly away with a strong wing. I hit RTH, but autopilot was not able to turn against the wing, and plane flew away in circles, until it falls somewhere far away. Such weather is definitely not suitable for such small model. Luckily I had full telemetry all the time. Here the rescue mission begins.
When I arrived at the place, I heard beeping but was not able to find the plane. Finally, I saw it on the top of the tree. I expected to find burned motors and electronics, but surprisingly everything seemed to work fine. I returned to the field and tried to launch the plane. Unfortunately it did not fly anymore. I seems that crash did not pass without consequences after all. Motors probably have overheated and lost some power. In one of the launch attempts I forgot to cut throttle before landing. When I was approaching model, I already heard a smell of burned electronics. Both motors and MOSFETs were burned. Motors lost gears. I installed my last pair of MOSFETs and Ishin E58 motors. I had to be careful, otherwise flight will be postponed until we'll wait for parts for a long time. I selected very calm day for the range test. And plane flew beautifully. That was the wind who caused all those problems. With 2 dBi antenna on transmitter, I was easily able to fly one kilometer away and back. Next days I repeated tests multiple times. In no wing weather, model flies very good. I have been getting failsafe event after passing 1 km. With 5 dBi antenna I am able to fly up to 1300 meters. I also enjoyed low altitude flying with this wing. RC system proven to be reliable in the range up to 1 km. I definitely will be using it on my future builds. The only thing I still want to test is long range mode available on ESP32. But this will be another story.